Welcome to my uh, man cave. Yes, sir. I love it. Man, that's a beautiful P1. I've never seen in that color combo. Gorgeous. Cool. Thank you. Hey, Tommy. Nice to meet Thanks you, Tommy. David. David, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you too. Wow. Very cool. Wow. And I like how you did the screws in red. Yeah, I don't want to ask how much they charge you, MSO or aftermarket? aftermarket. He's a real guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a real oh, guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Awesome. Well, come on in. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I, I, it just overlooked it, but you didn't just mention the Chiron roof rack that we have? Yeah, you like the roof rack? What? I, <laughs> dude, I didn't see a Chiron there. <laughs> Yeah. This is how much I love it, P1. I know, I, I, yeah. You don't even... I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay, let me take a look. <laughs> Sweet. It's, got nice. a, it's filthy right now. I can see now. you put some miles on it. We yeah. just drove from Vegas here yesterday. You're yeah. kidding. Yeah, we came from Las wow. Vegas last night. I don't even want to ask how many bugs you killed. A lot. A lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they call it the bug killer. That's right. Good as a bug. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I know, don't hate me. I would still take your P1 over it. Me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. So is the P1, is the P1 your favorite car that you own? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. me too. I, I love, so I don't own it. It's obviously their Steve's but That's not your favorite it car. It is. It's my favorite car in your yes. collection. If, no. if I have to take one car out of my blue That's it. Enjoy your ride. Yeah. So there, give you a tour. That'd be uh, awesome. Thanks, sir. You, you don't need no introduction for it. Q1, okay. Q1. Okay. One of my second favorite, I would say, is the Ford GT. Let me get the keys. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the design. That's so they, they only made 40 of these. It's the Heritage Edition. Yeah. Costs, I think, $240,000 option to get the Heritage. Wow. And your only option are the wheels, 30000 yeah. bucks. But uh, it goes well with this color combo because you got that red carbon and the wing. Yeah. It's yeah. And it's the only car that they recommend you leave the wing up. Every other manufacturer says put the wing down because it messes up the shocks. Yeah, sure. And I keep forgetting to put the wing up. <laughs> I, I had a question for your Hermes specs. Do you design them with Hermes or do you just let Hermes do the whole thing? Do you like uh, it's half and half. Put it this way I give my input. But yep. they get to choose whatever they want. Really? <laughs> That's super cool. So how it's many? It's a 180-year-old company. You can't change their mind. Yeah. yeah. Sure. How many Hermes cars do you have now uh, in total? Uh, three. Okay. So I have this one. My first one was the Pagani. Yeah. And then my this was my second one. And my third one is the uh, Speed Tail. Yep. And do you yeah. have any more coming in the future? I'm working on something, but I can't say. Okay. It. Uh, uh, very cool. Um, it even comes with you know driving. Wow. Yeah, it's like baby lamb. So yeah. cool. Um, but those clubs are But you know the best part is because it just took me three years to design. Oh I put my, my deposit five years prior to the car arriving. Wow. So it was one of the last ones they built. Yeah. But it comes with you know a cool one off badge from the black. factory. Mm -hmm. And in French it says dress by Hermes because the entire car is actually upholstered in Hermes that's factory. Yeah. At, at, in Paris. Okay. So that's why it took a while because the car gets shipped there to, to get Dressed by Hermes. And These yeah. seats are stunning. I love that there's no stitching. It's just leather. <laughs> yeah. I love it as all the time. Oh, yeah. So Hermes wanted something super simple. It's yeah. timeless. So Steve has a Chiron SS on order, and we're yeah. trying to Ooh, decide nice. if we want to do this the sky or the sky view. Yeah. Do you, know, do you yeah. like it? Do you, is it the option worth it to you? Or would Where you do you live? Uh, Chicago. Uh, yeah, I would do it in Chicago. In California, not so much. No, yeah, sun. you get cooked. Too much sun, yeah. Sure. Oh, that's good to it know. Gets that's so too much. Hot. It's yeah. so hot. Same with the Pagani, it's glassed up, but yeah. Yeah. it's not as hot as the Chiron. This car, I have a love and hate relationship. Yeah. But you gotta park it exactly precise on the pad. Yeah. It's a wireless pad. And if you mess it by half an inch, it drains the battery. Oh, that's kind of nice. So yeah, it's been driving me nuts, but it just came back from a service. They put a new battery on yep. and they said, now it's gonna work. So we'll see. Okay. But the, the thing I love about this car is obviously speed. Yep. It's faster than a Chiron, 0 to 200, 11 seconds. Really? It, yeah, yeah, it's faster than a Chiron. Uh, top speed, obviously, only 250. But it's so quiet, but it doesn't have a soul, like the Pagani or yeah. the Bugatti. It's ridiculously fast. It's yeah. almost like a Tesla Edition. Yeah. It's just too quiet, basically. Exactly. Super quiet. So we go, but what I love about it is, you know, you're sitting in the middle of the road, different driving experience. This one needs no introduction. Yes, the people you have like carbon tinted headlights. You don't get pulled over for the tinted headlights, do you? No. I don't drive as much as you do. Do so you drive at night or no? I don't think I've ever driven oh. this at night. I tinted some headlights and you cannot see at night. Really? Yeah, they oh, so you got a ticket for it? Fix ticket? I don't think I got a ticket. I just had to pull yeah. the tint off uh, because the lights oh. don't stay. They're like a quarter of the shine at night. Oh. That is, that is yeah. a boring a stock 
veil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one is a uh, number 14 Veyron that came to US. Yes. It's the 06 early models. Yep. But I bought it during COVID. It was a, like an investment deal. Yeah. I don't know. A totally different car. The suspension, it's more rough. Okay. Um, that car is like gliding. This one, you feel every. You got it's look. amazing. It, it hugs the road. It's comfortable. It's not a good yeah. car for racing around a track, but it's a no. wonderful car for go, for going on a trip. From yeah, Vegas it's to a Vegas. luxury touring car. Yes, yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. You said the expensive one. Let me show you the cheap stuff. <laughs> I have a Yesco. I have an Aston Martin Valkyrie. I just finished the spec on it. Yeah, that's actually my SLR. It's yeah. at factory being built. So cool. And then the AMG one, uh, the Yesco. I got two so what, SLR. What's the update with the AMG one? Do you think that there's gonna be showing this way? No. I think I have to bring it in as a race car. Okay. Yeah. Which is fine. It doesn't, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, look, it's only, it's one and only time in history they're going to put an actual Formula One engine that Hamilton raced in, in yeah. a car. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like even though they're making 275 units, I feel like it's still going to be a legendary for many years to come. Agreed. Do you yeah. think the, are you more excited for the Esco or the Valkyrie? Valkyrie. Really? Oh, yeah. So oh, when, you, when you buy your cars, is it like, like there's there's clout, there's resale, and then there's like drive, and then there's just driving it. Like what? Mm -hmm. Like for me, it's 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 mostly about like just putting a bunch of miles on it, and of course there's clout to it, right? But it, mm -hmm. but for me, resale is like the smallest portion of it. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it. We've been fortunate because the last two years cars have gone stupid high, right? Yeah. Right. You I'm sure that well. I'm yeah. sure it's gonna the market's gonna go back Correct. down, but. Yeah. Like, what motivates you to buy it? Is it the cloud? Is it just reselling and flipping them and making money? Mm -hmm. Is it for the driving experience? Um, the I mean, I've sold some of my cars. I would say the first and foremost, these are to me art on wheels. Yeah. I expect, you know, who takes three years to expect a Bugatti Shiba? Agreed. That's they said, like, fuck it, send me the car in eight I know. Yeah. 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 So, I know, I don't have the patience. For me, it's like building a custom home and you yeah. take your time, yeah. take the finishes, have this imported from here, I want this type of leather. So that's the way, I mean, I'm not building them to beat them up on the track or drive them daily. To me, it's art on wheels. Right, yeah. So to me, it's investment and passion. Yeah. And then driving, I because I do drive them to lunch too. Yeah. I just don't go on rallies. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big and, rally guy, to be honest. And, but these on this side, these were all investment. Yes. Because I bought nine of them. Yes. And I bought some of these for 200 grand with like 300 miles on it wow. during the recession. And now they're worth five. They're finally over a sticker now. A sticker's four fifty on these. There you go. Four sixty five. And you think they're gonna keep going up? Hundred yeah. percent. This is the future going. They're gonna be a million dollar plus. I haven't seen one of these in person yet. Yeah, I know. I don't think so. I mean, what would you What would you buy with you know this amount of money right now? And I'm like, honestly, oh. if you're looking to buy it as an investment, this is yeah. the car. Sounds like a like a Dodge or like a yeah yeah it's crazy uh, I love it I didn't even think about the art like he mentioned the art form which is which is true like I've only started specking cars kind of recently my Corvette was the first one that I specced and and uh, and and like I'm going and specking the Rolls Royce Phantom knowing that that I'm gonna lose a couple hundred grand at it but like half the fun is that I designed it I specced it so I didn't really think of that as, as one of the aspects of of the enjoyment. Yeah. I put it into those other three buckets, investment, clout, driving experience, but there's also just looking at something that you design and you spec, which, which is becoming more and more important to me. So that was a good call. And then of course I got the GT Black Series P1 yes. edition. There's only 41 of these. This, this is really sweet. It's my favorite car in your collection. This one? Yeah, no I way. love an AMG GT Black Series. I, yeah. I just love these things. Yeah, what I love about the paint process they did on this is like a three, four stage process. And this is not a sticker. These, all these are pink, different process and pink. And, uh, you know, so interior. Would you, would you daily this car? Like, like is it dailyable, you think? Uh, yeah, for regular people, not for me. What do, what <laughs> I'm do, on the phone constantly. Yeah, yeah they, this one looks really aggressive. They did a great job. The front lip actually has a manual extender. You can nice. pull it out. Did you uh, watch the GT3 RS video that they? I don't know if you're a Porsche guy at all. I am. I have five uh, Porsches on order. Oh, uh, well, they just released yeah. a video on the new GT3 RS. And yeah. They were talking about how the front, uh, yeah, it comes the extends. The front arrow, it goes eight. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty yeah, cool. that car. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it I looks mean, like a track version, but well, it's for, for yes. the road. I can't wait for the two RS. The two yeah. RS is gonna be yes. mind boggling. Is that usually yeah. a year after? A year or two. Oh, yeah. two years after. The GT4 RS, they said the weight balance on it is much better. Okay. I got one one of those on order. I'm excited oh, yeah. because it's not really a, a you know mid engine. Yeah. 
it's in between. Right. You had an i eighteen. Yeah. And why did you why did you sell that? Like that's my, uh, that's my favorite car. Really? Mm. It's uh, yeah. four hundred pounds heavier than a P one. Yes. And it's too much electronics. I feel like it wasn't as much uh, of you know it didn't make my hands sweat. P1 does. That's why I like the P1 too, as it makes me, it feels like you have you to like drive the car. Too, right? Well, the 19 is way better than the P1. Is great. But yes. Okay, I had it for 18 months and I yeah. got an offer I couldn't refuse. I yeah, made great money on it. Of course. But I'll buy one back, you know, in recession. Um, I'll take it. And I wanted the YSAC package yep. and they couldn't sell me, they say it's sold out. And that ticked me off. So yeah. If yes. I buy one, which I will buy it's one, gotta it's going to be YSAC. with YSAC. Yeah, understood. I was fortunate to get one with the YSAC. I love You're it. a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had, yellow, you had a couple carry GTs. Yeah, right? I had two yellow carry GTs. That's another mistake. I, I regret selling that. Just car. financially or the driving no, experience? No, somebody offering. No, no, it's amazing car, but it's one that uh, you got to make sure the road is dry. Yes. Tires are warm. Sure. I mean, yeah. that car gets away from you. This is beautiful. Great collection. Thank I you. Love it. How many? So how many cars are? are is this? Pretty much everything, or are there more cars? That no, I have more? a few more cars on my house, but okay. usually I put cars that I would take out for joyride at yep. lunch. I would yep. put them here. But the exciting car I'm super excited is the Valkyrie, obviously, yep. and then also the you know Bugatti Bolide. Yeah, that's gonna be. It's like the real bad mobile, you know. Yes. Well, listen, awesome. it was great meeting you. Yeah, man. thanks, man. Thanks yeah. So Sorry for making some of the schedule. Oh no, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Man. Thank, thank you so much. Likewise, thank likewise. You so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you, excuse me, what do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs>